Hey guys, Mary Kate Harrion here with Daily Iowan TV, sitting down with former offensive lineman Colt Croston. So thank you for sitting down with us. Thanks for having me. Of course. So just kind of talk about um, your decision then when you chose Iowa and um, why you chose it. So for me, um, coming to Iowa was uh, kind of my only option. I, I had some other looks from uh, D2 schools like Augustana. Um, I was considering going to Drake for a while, but um, my dad did play here back in the 80s. And uh, it was just kind of been a dream for me to come to Iowa and play football. And I, I decided in high school that if I um, wasn't able to play football at Iowa, I would come to Iowa and be a student. So it was Iowa or bust for me. That's awesome. Um, and then you redshirted your freshman year. I did, yeah. So what did that do for you for then the rest of your time here? Um, so I came in at 225 pounds, um, and now I'm 315 pounds. So um, I put on quite a bit of weight, and I owe that all to Coach Doyle and the strength staff. Um, that that redshirt year for me was kind of eye-opening because the difference between high school and college is, you know, the speed is much faster, guys are much bigger. Um, so getting that first year to get acclimated was uh, beneficial for sure. And then during just some growth years before then you started playing, um, what were those years like for you, especially then having people to look up to? Um, it's really nice when you're in a system where you have um, older guys to look up to, like you mentioned, like Brandon Sheriff, mm -hmm. Brett Van Sloten. Um, good mentors who will show you the right way and um, how to do things right in an Iowa program. And then going into, um, I think it was 2000, or after your 2014 season, you guys kind of had a mediocre season, um, lost the Tax Lair Bowl. So do you remember that mindset then going into the Rose Bowl season? Um, our mindset was, from an offensive line standpoint with Brian, it was just improve. And, um, you know, we, we had film from the year before, and we did a lot of things that we weren't proud of. And... Um, Brian is um, a, a tough guy to work with, and he's going to make sure that we do things right. And um, so I credit um, our 2015 year to him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, so then going into you're in the season, um, what was just kind of your mentality taking each game by each game, and then eventually reaching the Big Ten championship, and then reaching the Rose Bowl? Yeah, it was really weird because um, we, as you said, we were taking it game by game, and. Um, that, I remember that's what we were saying in post-game interviews and stuff like that. And nobody could really believe it, but um, after the 12th game, we're 12-0, and and everyone's just like, how did that happen? Um, it was really weird because, yeah, so, yeah, game by game, it was just, um, we just one step at a time. And it, it didn't feel like we were 12-0. and It felt like we were 1-0 and after every game. And um, I think we did a really good job of kind of ignoring the noise on the outside. Um, people were building the hype. And... Uh, yeah, as you mentioned, we just game by game, we ended up 12-0. and And then uh, to just take us through Big Ten prep and then um, Rose Bowl prep that year. Sure. So um, Big Ten prep was just kind of like it was really nice because it was a few weeks off, but it wasn't too long away like a bowl game would yeah. be. So it was just kind of like we prepped for another game. Mm -hmm. um, it was, you know, the same old stuff that we've done. So we felt comfortable going into it. And uh, I think we played a heck of a game. Yeah, it, was it, was, game. it was a close game. Uh, Michigan State had a really good team, mm -hmm. and uh, we just came up on the short side of that one. And then going in, getting announced, you guys got the Rose Bowl. What was that like for you guys? What was that moment, and then the preparation, and then getting there? It was super exciting because it's been a while since we went back to the Rose Bowl. Yeah. Um, and yeah, getting like what well, getting to watch uh, that happen on TV, the announcement, and all that was was extremely cool. Um, the game didn't exactly go as planned, but uh, I mean, California was a great experience, of course. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but preparation just seemed like, um, I'm not sure, it, it just seemed like we were doing all the right things and we got out there and it just didn't click. And then, so after the Rose Bowl, you guys get back, obviously then your senior season. Um, what were some of your personal goals for spring and summer and then uh, team goals as well? Okay, so personal goals, um, I just wanted to be a better player. Yeah. And uh, watching film from the year before that, uh, I didn't have a very good Rose Bowl, honestly. They, they had a really good team and they had some good ends, so um, watching that film helped a lot. And then um, just trying to build off the things that we did last year. And um, once again, just follow Brian's um, instructions. And just because he's been through it all, he was a lineman here, and, and he knows the way to do things. And um, yeah, so personal goals was just to be a better player. Um, team standpoint, it's tough to build off 12-2 and two season. Yeah. Um, and we didn't want to be complacent. I, I don't think that kicked in at all. Um, we played some really good teams in 2016. And, uh, you know, it's hard. It's really hard to repeat 12-2. and two. I think hopefully we didn't set the expectation um, to go 12-0 and 0 again because that's unrealistic. And we talked about that in our room with Brian. Um, you know, we lost a few games, and everyone was like, 
I was yeah. I was terrible. I was a bad team again. Um, but yeah, so we we were ended up, we ended up being able to you know pull together and uh, finish the season okay. Yeah, um, and then you kind of just talked about um, before this your injury. So kind of take us through that for you before it and then when you actually sat out for some games. So um, I was okay through the first three games. Um, Iowa State was I was feeling great, and then we went into Rutgers. And I started getting a little bit of pain. I wasn't sure what it was. Um, they called it a stress reaction at first, just fluid in the bone. Um, but at that point, I had the mind point or the mindset, sorry, that uh, I, I'd be able to be out there and play through it. Yeah. And it progressively got worse to the point where I was not able to play through it, and I was just hurting the team. Um, so I ended up sitting out uh, Purdue, Illinois. Um, I was only on special teams for uh, Penn State, and then I was out also Michigan and Nebraska. So um, it was really tough being out during that Michigan game. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, still a great experience, though, getting to see it all. Absolutely. Um, but then uh, going into then the Outback Bowl, um, just kind of talk about that prep and then your injury with that as well. Yeah, um, Tampa was really nice, as always. Yeah. And it was also nice to get down there and be able to practice and be 100% because I hadn't been 100% in a long time. Um, I had some time off, and I was able to get in with the strength staff, Coach Doyle, um, improve my upper body strength because I'm not necessarily the strongest guy out there. Um, but work on things that I wouldn't normally be able to work on um, while I'm out there practicing. So from that standpoint, it was nice, but also um, not being out there with, with my guys was not fun. But um, So Outback Bowl prep um, was a great time down in Tampa, as I mentioned. Um, not a, I mean, not a whole lot of difference from what we've been doing in the past. Yeah. Uh, I think we just kind of streamlined things a little more. Um, the the nice thing was that Coach France kind of let the older guys decide their own schedule, which was really nice. Um, kind of made the young guys do all the all the fun stuff. Yeah. As it should so, be. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, definitely. Um, so then after that, you started training. Mm -hmm. So what was that like for you? Where did you train? And how was the workload? I have been in Iowa the entire time because okay. I, I believe that Coach Doyle is the best in the world. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, he put 90 pounds on me. <laughs> and so I have uh, the utmost confidence in him to prepare me for Pro Day, as he did. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought Pro Day went really well. Um, we came in here, and there was, I think, all 32 teams were represented. So that was awesome. And uh, I, th I think everyone ran fast and jumped high. So I think we had a great day. You had a good vert as well, right? I jumped I okay. Yeah, yeah. You, okay. Congrats. You played uh, basketball too, so it was. It was, <laughs> it was nice, yeah. Uh, what I liked was that um, for the vertical test in the combine and pro day, they do it a little different where you jump and you reach for something. So, yeah, that, that kind of does go back to basketball. How was it being back here with all your guys and then all kind of just going towards the same dream? It's great. Um, you know, originally when everyone kind of separated, it was like five guys who were working out here. And it was yeah. kind of like, man, where'd everybody go? <laughs> um, last year they had a really good group of guys. Um, and it seemed like they all kind of worked out here. And this year, it was just like there's only four or five of us. But when everyone came back, it was really nice. It was like back in the, you know, back in the old day uh, where we were all reunited. And it was yeah. it was really nice to have familiar faces again. That's good. And then um, now going up into from now until the draft, what are you still obviously probably staying here then and working out and training? Yep, I'll be here um, still training with Coach Doyle over the next 20 days. And, uh, yeah, it's a little nerve-wracking um, kind of seeing – what what's going to happen to your future in 20 days so um hopefully it all works out sure it will um and then can you pick one moment from your time here at iowa in football um that will stick with you whether it's with the team your per like yourself or anything so for me i mean there's a lot of moments there's a michigan game there's a pittsburgh game uh, where marshall hit that game yeah. winner for me it would be my first start came in 2015 against wisconsin against two really good edge rushers in Vince Beagle and uh, Joe Schobert. So for me, coming to that game, um, I had a lot of, like, conf not really a whole lot of confidence, but um, my teammates were behind me. Um, I, I specifically remember Drew Watt telling me, you know, um, like, this is your moment. you got to go out there and take it. And uh, the game didn't go as well <laughs> as I would have hoped for me, yeah. but um, the Hawks got the W, so it was, it was a great day. Awesome. All right, well, that's all we have for you, so thank you for sitting down with us, and good luck with everything in the future. Thank you very right, much. Awesome, thanks.